from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a major morning as the consumer price index number for the month of December is released. And baby, we got it right. You got it right, Verba Bauer. Inflation did not peak. Inflation went off. And inflation is still with us. Lots of inflation. We're going to go over all the great news today as we have that CPI release this morning. Breaking news on air. It's happening right today. It came in as expected at monthly and annually core and also headline inflation. But first, the brand new details of stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Babbitts, Veterans Babbitts, Heats of this broadcast, Master Stimulus Checks. And it's huge. We're going to go over all these incredible stimulus checks over this broadcast. It's 2023 stimulus checks. It's passed. It heats up the show. Major day with a lot of money. And we're going to go over all the incredible details you need to know in a fast, very quick breaking news show this morning. Everything you need to know with this economy, your stimulus, and more. It all starts right here, right now, on a special edition from Mornings LA, happening right this very moment. CPI is released, and stimulus checks are arriving. The breaking news starts right now. Good morning, everybody. This is a breaking news report. As this consumer price index number for the month of December was released, we're going to go over what the actual number was, what the estimate was as well. It's a big day and a big exciting news across the board. We're going to go over everything you need to know in this economy. Let's look at that breaking news right now. The CPI estimate was expected to come in higher than the prior month, higher than the prior year. We're looking for an estimated consumer price index for the month of December at a 6.5 and a core 5.7. We were looking at the monthly raise at a 0.1 and the core at a 0.2. Where did it come in at? Exactly as expected, with the exception of the core monthly year to date. That's the only difference across the board. This is where the actual number came in today. So, Inflation has not peaked. The December 2022 CPI is our first major inflationary report for 2023. It was announced minutes ago. Year to date, compared to the prior year, compared to December 2021, it went up 6.5%. Wow. Not much of improvement there because we started with 8% inflation the year before. We've only gone from 8 to 6.5. Core CPI came in exactly as ex expected. 5.7. Core CPI is when you remove food and energy. Then we're going to go and and then we go to the monthly year to uh, the monthly change MTD. How much did change monthly? It came in at a 0.1% increase and the core came in at a 0.3% monthly change across the board. In fact, these numbers, that's the actual look at how similar it is to the estimate. It's nearly the exact same number. It's nearly the exact same number. The only number that was different was the core monthly year to uh, monthly uh, change across the board. Let's jump into some of the breakdowns right now. Food went up 0.3% in the new CPI. Again, these are these are uh, these are annualized numbers. 0.3 for the food, energy 4.5%, new vehicle down 0.1. Didn't fall that much. They thought it was going to fall more. There's the used cars. Used cars are falling very dramatically, 2.5% down. Apparel's actually up. That's a surprising one. I'm a little surprised by that. Look at that. Are you surprised? Jump in the live chat. Apparel surprise, right? Or apparel not surprise? I'm surprised. Apparel has not been bringing the consumers into the stores, and yet they're still raising the prices. Shelter at a 0.8%. That is a whopper because, remember, shelter is 30% of your inflation. That's why you have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. In this broadcast, we're going to go over these huge stimulus checks. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. Stimulus checks for anyone who makes less than $75,000. Stimulus checks for you, veterans. Stimulus checks for low income. These are 2023 stimulus checks. We're not hoping for them. We're not wishing for them. We're not uh, wishing on a star. Where are you? <laughs> what is that nursery rhyme? I can't remember what it was. We're not wishing for it. It's past. 2023 is a great year for stimulus because a combination of three years of stimulus passed. And there's over a half a billion dollars of money still sitting around. 
I've been saying this for over a month. And guess what? I heard someone today <laughs> repeat my expression verbatim on another channel. Well, apparently someone's watching me. 18 months of checks, five checks per month, $3,000 a month. We're going to go over all these incredible stimulus checks in this broadcast. A to Q are stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, veterans, low income. These have been passed. They're money right now. Viewers have been getting them right now. They're money for you. This is not proposed legislation. It's actually laws. It's the combination of three years of stimulus checks. And then we go, go over laying this broadcast to, un, to unemployment stimulus for people getting fired. We have a lot of people being fired, unfortunately, and more will be coming. Then we're going to go to small business uh, stimulus checks. That's stimulus check R. Then we go to children's checks, PBT. But first, let's start with your checks, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. Anyone who makes less than 75000 these are 2023 stimulus checks. And why does 2023 have so many checks? Because, again, it's the combinations of three years of checks. And there's over a half a billion dollars of money still sitting around. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in this broadcast. And boy, is it great. Without a delay, let's understand where these checks came from. Then we're going to go over each of these incredible checks, and then we'll go over how to get the incredible checks. These checks started from Joe Biden, and these incredible checks are huge, and you want to get these incredible sums of money because the U.S. economy is heading into the next phase. And the next phase, actually, we are in the next phase, and this going to be manifest in the next 30 days. It's called a recession. Let's look at those incredible checks right now. The first three checks, A, B, and C, were done by Joe Biden, and they're absolutely wonderful. Single individual, 75000 or less, go get them. You qualify. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits. They're stimulus checks, A, B, and C. Then Congress came along and passed more checks, E through K, bringing us to hundreds of 2023 stimulus checks passed law for you. Become a member. Have you become a member? I'll show you why getting these incredible checks is needed. And then we'll go to stimulus checks out of queue and more of those incredible checks across this incredible broadcast. You need them because inflation has clearly not peaked in this latest report. Let's go over the first three checks right now. Stimulus checks A, B, and C. Again, the first three checks are from Joe Biden and they're absolutely wonderful. And how do you get them? And what are they? First, let's go over what they are before we go over how to get them. Stimulus check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check pass. Law. Viewers have been getting them. They've been getting them for over a year. If you haven't gotten a $12,000 stimulus check A, go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then go into the membership newsletter and go to stimulus check A. Click the link, choose your state, and grab this great stimulus. It's from the federal government. It's for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. It's not from your state governor. Every day, I literally have, I think, almost 20 comments held or not posting, where people say they hate their governors. I got to tell you, there's a lot of really bad governors out there. I'm sorry about it. But governors have nothing to do with the stimulus. This is not from your states. This is for the federal government, the people in D.C., not the governors in your states. And stimulus check A is incredible. Now, stimulus check B is better. Why? Because this is the one that's paying you lots of months of checks. So become a member, go around this video, get stimulus check A, then go down in the membership news newsletter, stimulus check B, I'll go over how you do this in a second. First, we're just going over the checks. And B is paying out a lot of checks to you, everyone that makes less than 75000 or married couples, 150000 or SSI and SSDI, Social Security, Royal Benefits. This is the check that's helping people get 18 months of great stimulus checks. 18 months, five checks per month, and $3,000 across the board. That's stimulus check B. You're not done there yet. You can go to stimulus check C. At stimulus check C, we have a lot of money, and it's for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Go into this video and go down and become a member. Go into that membership news and go down to stimulus check C, where it says where to call, how to, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places, so make sure you do all 12 places. And the success stories for stimulus check C have paid viewers lots and lots of money on this channel. The members of this channel are walking away with massive sums of money. Let's look at some of those numbers right now. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105. She went to 150,000. And here is uh, Mark. He was at 32,000. He went to one. He went to 50 initially. Then he went to 100. Then he went to 166. And Dragon is among the other viewers who started initially with rent like these numbers and now is holding on to $170,000. You want to get all these incredible stimulus checks because why? The U.S. economy is heading into recession in less than 30 days from now. And I was the first to record that over a year ago. And as soon as I recorded that, what did viewers immediately say? They say, if that's true, I like finding some big stimulus checks. And I had a triple mandate for myself at the time, and we got achieved. Number one, big checks. You need big checks. 
because it's going to be a two-year recession. Not $600 measly checks, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. We found them. Number two, broad eligibility, because I care about you. Why would I cover something that's only for one group of people? It's for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Bevins, Veterans Bevins. They've been getting it. You've been getting it since early 2022 for most of these checks A to C, and you've been getting some of them even earlier than that. And that is why these incredible. Then, uh, as many months as possible was also my mandate, making it as simple as possible. Now, what is as simple as possible? Here we go. It's the membership newsletter. Go into this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Then go into this video to where it says membership newsletter. It's at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and also the description of the video. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Now let's think about how much effort I put into making sure that this is as easy as possible for you. I could just record a video and you have to take notes. Well, that would be hard for you, wouldn't it? You have to take notes on a video. Then the second opportunity would be for me to do a newsletter. Well, that's what I did starting over a year ago. Delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, my time, via the YouTube alerts. And that was wonderful, still being delivered to this day. But I thought, let's do it even better. How about a newsletter that's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week? How about a newsletter so you don't have to wait a minute to go into it? In fact, you can keep on going into it around the clock all day long because you're applying for stimulus all day long. How about becoming a member and immediately you can go in that newsletter? Well, it was launched by me as my gift to you on December 23rd, 2022. Uh, December 23rd? Yeah, <laughs> that was December 22nd. No, it was December 23rd. And that's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Now, I could show you the graphic, which I think I'm going to show it to you right now with the website, but you don't even have to write down the website at all, because why? I put it on the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and in the description of the video. You don't even have to write down the website. You just have to become a member. Grab the password for the most recent post on this channel and go right into that password-protected newsletter website and start getting stimulus checks today. So far, we have done stimulus checks A, B, and C. Because of the breaking news today with the CPI, I'm going to go through E through K and L to Q and then stimulus check R and, if I have time, unemployment relatively briskly because I want to get to the breaking news on the uh, on the CPI today. So stimulus check E is a $7,500 stimulus check for USSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. Anyone who makes less than $75,000, it's huge. It's for the car. Stimulus check F, $4,000 also for the car. Then we have stimulus check G, 30% off, and this is for uh, home repairs. Stimulus check H, more home appliances, $2,000. Stimulus check I is a beautiful uh, $8,000 stimulus check. J, $8,000 stimulus check. K, $14,000 stimulus check for brand new appliances. The stimulus check L, $100,000 on average of loan and stream money. M, $4,000 stimulus check. Wow. So at this point, we are heading into L to Q. These are the checks that I found for you after Congress. Remember, the stimulus checks of 2023 started with Joe Biden's checks, A through C, then E through K from Congress, and then L to Q, which I found for you, and we're all the way up to R laying this broadcast. Again, 2023 is the combination of three years of stimulus, and there's more stimulus happening all the time. Stimulus check R was found by me for you just about, what was it, two weeks ago? Very, very recent in 2023. Let's continue with L to Q, which is where we are right now. N, oh boy, love stimulus check N. Brand new tablet, computer, and laptop with free internet. You know you love that. Ling Lang got it. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, John Maloof got it. Spelly got it. It's just incredible. Do you want a brand new computer, tablet, or laptop? It's wonderful. It's stimulus check N in the membership newsletter. And then stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. And then stimulus check P and Q. Q is $8,000 and P is a 3% for a refi. Wow. So there is A to C from Joe Biden. There's E to K from the Congress. There's L to Q, which I found for you. The totality of these checks is about 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. Stimulus checks for you, veterans. Stimulus checks for you, low income. Anyone made less than 75000 last year, this is for you. This is not us talking about hoping this is going to happen. This is law. This is law. This has been passed. Viewers have got to this money. Viewers are sitting on hundreds of thousands of dollars of stimulus in their bank accounts today. And they're on SSI and SSDI and veterans income across the board. And they're low income. And they are all different walks of life because it's been law. And they've been getting it ever since. If you got some, go get some more. If you never got it, you know what you got to do. 
Go into the video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. Go into that incredible newsletter and start getting these incredible stimulus checks. Now, let's go over to Stimulus Check R. Stimulus Check R is an insane amount of money. We're going to breeze through this relatively quickly because of the breaking news on the CPI. Stimulus Check R is for small business owners. If you had an employee in 2019 and the pandemic hit and you kept that employee on staff, guess how much you're going to get? An insane amount of money. You're going to get, for every employee you had on staff in 2019 and kept them on staff in 2020 and three quarters of 2021, you're going to get a whopping $26,000. You heard me right. $26,000. That is just incredible. It's Stimulus Check R and it's absolutely wonderful. It's down the membership newsletter. Go down to Stimulus Check R. It's the employee tax retention credit. Here's how it pays out. If you had 10 employees, it's 260000 Here's the calculations and the breakdown. This is all in the membership newsletter. It's the stimulus check R. It's just incredible. Next, unemployment stimulus. Unemployment stimulus is so incredible. <laughs> That's not the graphic for it. Here is the graphic for unemployment stimulus. I mean, somewhere is the graphic for unemployment stimulus. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting it up. I'm putting up the CPI for unemployment. Yeah, a little contradictory there. Here's unemployment stimulus. Step one, file the claim. Go to your State Department of Unemployment, file the claim. Step two, ask for those weekly benefits. You deserve these incredible checks. And we're going to go over more about unemployment stimulus in the next broadcast on this channel today. Because of the breaking news on the CPI, I'm going to go right into that starting right now. The Consumer Price Index for the month of December was released today, and this was the estimate going into the breaking announcement. This was the estimate that the markets were looking at. What was the actual what was the actual inflation number, the CPI for December 2022, released this morning live on air on this broadcast? What was the actual number? Nearly exactly the same. The only number you're going to see change when I change the graphic is the monthly change, MTD. It went to a 0.3%. Here you go. Not a much of a change. Not much of a change. So, number one, inflation has not peaked. Inflation has not peaked because annually... Compared to December 2021, inflation went up 6.5%. Much of a success story from Jay Powell? Not really. Not really. All those nonsense people, we call them the bridge people, people trying to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge, kept on saying inflation peaked, sell me the bridge. Jay Powell's going to stop, selling me the bridge. Inflation's finally gone away, selling me the bridge. Look at that year-to-date inflation. It went up 6.5%. How much has Jay Powell gotten it down in a year? What has it been? A year and a half? I can't even <laughs> December 2021. Well, yeah, that's more. Well, it's a year and a quarter. He has gotten down 1.5%. No success there at all. The core CPI is also really up year to day, 5.7%. That's including food and energy. MTD is month to day. That's compared to the prior month. Just November to December, did it go up? Yeah. So <laughs> if it had peaked, it, the monthly data would be a flat number. It would be zero. The core CPI went up as well. Let's look at the components of the CPI and what they showed us today. Food went up 0.3%. I will look at my notes by evenings. I believe this is an annualized number. This is not a monthly number. Food went up 0.3% compared to the prior year. Energy went up 4. Uh, energy was a 4.5. And then new vehicles. Wow. Used car uh, trucks. That was the big draw. Shelter was the big rise across the board. Let's in fact uh, let's in fact take this graphic and make it even bigger. Why don't we do that right now? Let's take the graphic and make it even bigger right now. So there you go. Uh, food plus three. Energy negative. Uh, energy negative four point five. So my mistake. New car vehicles negative point one. Used car vehicles a uh, drop, but not as much as we thought. And then the sh there's shelter. I mean, this is the problem. The rent. The landlords. Every month it's plus one. I mean, it's every month it's 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 plus one percent. Here it is again, plus 0. 0.8. That's basically one percent. It's basically plus 1.0. It's 0. 0.8. Uh, and then it's medical services. So this is the one we didn't know. It came basically flat. Again, the number came in nearly as expected. This was the actual number, and this was the estimated number. It's basically the same number. Wall Street actually got it right, and there you go. We're going to go over more about the analysis of the CPI in a second, but let me tell you where we are right now. So 
The Federal Reserve meets in just a few weeks from now. The Federal Reserve has its first meeting of the FOMC for 2023. And they've only had two inflationary reports, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index and the CPI released minutes ago. So is the Federal Reserve going to raise rates? Of course they are. Of course they are. The Federal Reserve is guaranteed to raise rates at that January 2023 FOMC meeting. It's absolutely going to happen. But will the rate increase be a little bit less? And this is getting interesting. So there's more than one Fed governor. You know that. There's a couple of them. Jay Powell is not the single vote. He's just the chairman. So he tells you what everyone else said. And they're coming out and talking. As I told you in that graphic all this week, I don't know if I still have it on air uh, with me, that graphic that all these Fed governors will be speaking this week. Oh, I do still have it here, right? I told you all these Fed governors were speaking this week. They spoke Tuesday, they spoke Wednesday, have their comments right in this broadcast. I do not have the unemployment number yet. So for some reason, it has been delayed. I'll have that by the evening show. The Fed governors are speaking yesterday and Tuesday. And what are they saying? They're all saying more interest rate spikes, but some of them are saying potentially a lesser interest rate spike. Oh, now this is getting exciting. <laughs> Where are we going with this one? Well, the breaking news continues in the big second half, and we will have a lot of stimulus, and the breaking news on whether the federal governors will go to a smaller increase at that next FOMC meeting. Wow, this is getting very, very exciting. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. As this breaking news report from Morning to LA live on air as the Consumer Price Index for December 2022 is released. We'll go more into that data plus the market's reaction to it and some other breaking news on this economy on the big second half. See you as Morning to LA live on air continues. Money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California, on a breaking news report as the Consumer Price Index, which gauges inflation for the month of December, has just been released. We'll go over all that data in today's broadcast. And boy, folks, you know I put a lot of research into a particular broadcast, but today is what I call a double packet. Why is today a double package? Two packages of broadcasts I got to do in one. <laughs> There's literally that much breaking news. So I literally have two different sets of notes for one show. And let's see if I can get through it right now. So that the December CPI had the following reaction. It's amazing how much reaction, overreaction there is for one single data point, says Simon Makoka at State Street Advisors. I agree. Clearly, the CPI is very important. In this particular case, it does have a fairly direct policy impact on what the Federal Reserve does. 100% correct. That's really well said. Here's what Wilmington Trust Chief Economist Luke Tiley said. Now, remember, economists always get it right. He said a 12% decline in gasoline prices in December will help keep inflation lower. It did. It didn't keep the total number lower, but you saw it in that energy drop. You saw that graphic. Uh, see if my fingers are real fast this morning. If I can pull up that energy graphic, he was absolutely right. Let's look at it right now. 
There you go. Energy uh, with a drop of 4.5%. So he got it very much correct. I was quick with my fingers there. <laughs> that is on the fly. Shelter. Oh, let's go back to the graphic. <laughs> Let's go back to the graphic. Here's more analysis from Tilly. Shelter is the main focus because of the lag. Rental market data shows a slowing in rates, but the CPI is not reflected it. Everyone's familiar with the lag, but it takes some data to show up in the CPI. We're thinking it could be a sharper slowdown. Shelter costs a 40% of the core CPI. So this is interesting. That's data, what he said, that the rent prices are very delayed to showing up in the CPI. And that while the rent looks almost like it did the prior month, up 1%, he says it's a delayed data. Everyone knows it. Wow. So this is something you learn. I just learned that right now. <laughs> I just learned it with a quote. I just never, never heard of that. The rent does not immediately show up in the CPI. Now, you can say a thousand reasons why, because the, the lease is a one-year lease or something like that. It's not a month-to-month -month lease. But the fact that the rent um, is delayed shows that maybe the rent has dropped. We don't know, but we will see that across the board. And we're also looking to see if inflation services have come down. We did not see that. Um, we certainly saw the, the medical. Uh, Susan Collins. So now let's go to those Fed governors. Switching subject. Fed governors and the reaction to today's data and the anticipation of today's, governors, of today's data. Susan Collins um, spoke. She's the Boston Fed president, so if you're on the East Coast, she's for you. She said in an interview with the New York Times yesterday that she's leaning towards a quarter point interest rate spike at the January 2023 meeting. So let's remember how he did this. It was a 75 for a while, then went to 50. Now she's saying she's ready to go to quarter. She's just one person, but that's her opinion. We think... We think one of the changes in the coming months is the Federal Reserve will lean to cheaper type of inflation, says another person analyzing Collins' comments. So Collins' comments was she's leaning towards a quarter, no longer a half, and no longer a three-quarter. Here is um, reaction before the announcement, uh, uh, based upon the estimate of today's numbers, not based upon the news of num today's numbers for the CPI from Jim Cramer. What makes tomorrow's, this is last night, Consumer price index number a big deal simply because we're looking to see if the nearing the period where companies can raise prices with impunity. Ooh, <laughs> that sentence has a dagger in it. So <laughs> immunity or immunity? I think it's immunity. Uh, can companies just hoard you, gorge you, hoard, gorge you? <laughs> companies just gorge you with Eggflation. <laughs> Eggflation, you know what it is, $12 eggs. That My broadcast about those $12 eggs here in Los Angeles at a discount retailer, discount uh, grocery store, $12 eggs. Can they still gorge you with immunity? <laughs> Last night on the live show, that was out on location outside, uh, and that will re-air tonight, I think probably about 6 o'clock. There was uh, a baker in the, sh in, in the live chat. And he says, oh, the eggs are expensive. It's costing my baking a lot of money. I said, you're, you're experiencing bakeflation. Uh, and, and Mitch is even experiencing lopflation. <laughs> so um, that was the reaction by Kramer coming into today's data. Now let's look at the reaction to the actual data released minutes ago. So gasoline was was in part responsible for this big drop. You know the gasoline is falling really dramatically. You see that in the membership newsletter right now. Go right into right now because I update that literally every few hours. It's the core CP. It is the um, international price of Brent crude. And the AAA national average has gone a little well. Let's be clear with this. The AAA national average and the international price of Brent crude has gone up since the start of this week, but it has gone down dramatically since the third quarter of last year. Here are some of the breakdowns again in these numbers. Food increased 0.3 in December. So that was a monthly number. It was not an annualized number, so I misspoke earlier. Food went up 0.3 in the, in the month of December, and shelter saw a 0.8%. So let's look at those numbers right now. So I did um, misstate if this was monthly or annually. This is monthly. So food went up 0.3 in one month. Energy went up, went down 4.5 in one month. That's because of gasoline. New car vehicles dropped 0.1. I think it's falling faster than that, folks. I think that's undervaluing it. Used cars felt hideously big time, 2.5. Now, apparel rose in the third quarter. You know why. Why did the retailers raise the price on clothing in the third quarter? Jump a live chat. What event was the reason why the apparel 
the clothing, the shoes, the, the sweater was more expensive at the end of 2022. You know why. Holiday season. They're trying to do whatever they can to get more money out of you. Absolutely. And then shelter. There you go. So the Federal Reserve was looking for a 2% inflationary number. Do they have it? <laughs> do they have a 2% inflationary number? They do not. They do not have a 2% inflationary number. What do they have? They have this. Yeah. Oh, boy. They got a long way to go. This is no walk in the park, folks. Here's some of the reaction. Inflation is quickly moderating. Obviously, it's still painfully high, but it's quickly moving in the right direction. Quickly? Not really. I don't think 8% to 6.5 in a year and a half is quick, folks. I think that's really slow. I disagree with Mark Sandy, even though he is brilliant. He's at Moody's Analytics. I see nothing but good news in the report except for the top line number. 6.5 is way too high. That's what his quote was. Do I agree with him? Yeah, 6.5 is way too high. That is way, way, way too high. But I see nothing but good news in the report. Uh, no, I don't see only but good news in this report. I do not see only but good news. I don't see much of good news in this report. Um, the things that really need to come down are shelter, and I can't keep on putting my hat and resting on the fact that maybe sh the rent is delayed in coming in. Um, the fact that gasoline fell down, fell in the third quarter, at the, at the fourth quarter last, uh, in, in this latest report is not reassuring because you know gasoline prices have now gone back up. So that's the problem across the board. What's the reaction to the news? So you look at the Dow. The Dow is up 143 on the news, and the Nasdaq is up 20 on the news. What is my reaction to the, the market's reaction to the news? <laughs> what is my reaction to the market's reaction to the news? Nonsense. Brooklyn, bridge again. Absolutely. Uh, if you've seen this channel over the last year, we've had a recurrence all the time with this market where the news comes out. It's generally not good news. And the market trades up. And the next day, they really fall apart. Now, here is why the market should be down today and not up. Because 6.5 is a horrible number. It's a headline number. Component parts, they're all up. They're up month to month. Is there anything in here that indicates the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates? No. If there's nothing that indicates the Federal is going to stop raising rates, there's no reason to be trained up the market 143, except that, you know, wishful thinking once again. And that's what the market is really good at. Let's look at some of the other breaking news today. That was packet one of today's breaking news. I think I got through the whole packet because it's a big packet. Here's packet two. So American Airlines Travel Leisure up again, point three up 3% 3 in pre-market trading after it. Height, it's fourth quarter guidance. Do I care? No, they're always making money. Food and travel and leisure just hand over fist of money. Cleveland Cliffs was upgraded by Morgan Stanley. This is steel producer. I like this one. I like this news. Why? Because there is a demand for construction if there's more demand for steel. And it's up 2% in the pre market training. Disney's up 1.5% after announced a former. Uh, chairman at Nike as its new uh, chairman. Wow, I guess the shoes will be really good at, at, at Disney. Uh, and then is it too early, early to celebrate inflation? Absolutely. It's too early to celebrate inflation. It's been too early for a year. How many times have they sold you the Brooklyn Bridge on peaked inflation? Were any of the numbers a negative number in that report? Very few. Very few were negative numbers in uh, that report. So what are we looking for later on today's broadcast. We're looking today on to later on today's broadcast at the latest situation on the unemployment numbers. I don't have that on air. For some reason, they were delayed. I couldn't grab them. I mean, I grabbed everything else about the kitchen sink of the show. Uh, we'll be looking to see if we have more guidance with those Fed governors. I'm starting to, what is it, one or two? I think it's two Fed governors who are now mentioning this quarter basis point increase instead of half. They said that before the CPI was released, so let me make that very clear to you. Is that going to hold up? No, absolutely not. <laughs> so what do you need to watch for? You need to jump on to all those shows. Morning to LA is followed by Home LA at 11 a.m., then the 1 o'clock show, afternoons, the 2 o'clock afternoon show, the 3 o'clock afternoon show, which is brand new, and then we go into the evening show. Last night, did you see what happened? Did you see what happened last night? Uh, no, it has nothing to do with lobster shorts. <laughs> last night, I went outside and I did a live feed. It was not the same live feed that was airing in studio. It was an outside live feed. And it was a lot of fun. 
Bob Bacon was asking about them. He was not there. Yeah, I, I feel really guilty about this. <laughs> Anne was asking about them. She was not there. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. The baker was in there, and we're talking about bakeflation, and so was Angie Sue and Dragon, and uh, Dottie came in later. Um, oh, oh. Uh, uh, there was there was there were other people in there. I know you're, I'm forgetting your names. I apologize immensely. But we had a lot of fun. We had the helicopter. Well, the plane. <laughs> we had the plane. We had everything that we remember from 2020. So maybe I'll do it again tonight. Uh, we will see. I don't know. It was it was an interesting balance because it was outside. I called it live, but it really was the evening show. It will air again on this channel tonight at the. Six o'clock time slot, probably. Then I came in and L8 live, uh, L8 evenings aired at five o'clock. Now, uh, excuse me, uh, 5.30. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Not only do we have a live show out lo outside last night, before, um, almost an hour before evenings would normally start at five o'clock. Guess what happened? I put evenings L8 yesterday at about 5.30, not 5 p.m. What did I put at 5 p.m.? I put LA Light live at 5 p.m. in the time slot that evenings LA usually airs. And it became the most watched show for LA Live ever. The most watched show of the day on the show. And that's the most watched broadcast of the entire year on any of the three channels. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get rid of that time slot then with that show because apparently that works. So we're going to try it again tonight. LA Late Live will air earlier again at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and uh, that will be followed by Evenings LA about 30 minutes thereafter. Again, that's LA Live, Studio Live, 5 o'clock, the breaking news after the market closes. And I will attempt to do the 4 o'clock ish LA Late externally live on location show right before that airs with the handheld cell phone and my arm hurting. <laughs> we will try. A lot of fun, but thank you for the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who watch the 5 o'clock LA Late Live in prime time. We're safe to say now we are clearly the number one most watched financial show in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. From the Choice of San Marco, California, become a member. Go on this video, become a member right this second. Get all these incredible stimulus checks, A, B, C, E to K, L to Q, 300,000, fast stimulus, 18 months of checks, $3,000 a month, five checks per month, the largest check, $100,000, smallest check, 8,000, fastest rounding time, two days. And you want 18 months of incredible stimulus checks because it's going to be a two-year recession. Get that unemployment stimulus. Get all these incredible stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans. This is past law, passed in 2020 all the way up to 2022, and new, and some of it new for 2023 for my business people. These are stimulus checks A to C, E to K, L to Q. This whole graphic is for you, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, anyone who makes less than 75000 If then you're a small business owner, this is your graphic, stimulus check R. And if you have been fired, well, watch tonight's evening's broadcast because unemployment stimulus is for you as well. PBT for the young children. We'll have more details throughout today's broadcast with what happened with this big new CPI data. And we'll be analyzing more about what we saw in those breakdowns from the core components across the board. From the shores of San Marco, California, you're doing such a great job. Keep on getting as much stimulus as you can. Go around right this video, become a member, and grab the password from the most recent post on this channel and go right in and start getting stimulus as soon as this broadcast ends. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, everything was here except the bacon. I mean, nothing has changed. <laughs> From the shores of San Marco, California, stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning, and as always, stay here, stay informed, and always do what is needed to get ahead financially and informed. Stay with Ally for more.